You've probably heard the words energy efficiency in connection with using energy efficient appliances for financial and environmental benefit. In the sciences, though, energy efficiency gets a bit more technical. Energy efficiency is how much energy is produced in a process versus the amount of energy given. For example, a light bulb is given a certain amount of electricity. Energy efficiency is about how much of that electricity gets turned into usable light. It's about comparing the output of something versus the input. Now imagine that you are the owner of a local art gallery. You display all your pieces of art from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You're interested in energy efficiency because you actually spend quite a bit of money on powering all the lights in your gallery. You want to know just how much of the electricity you pay for actually gets turned into usable light by your light bulbs. To help you figure this out, you use the following formula for finding energy efficiency. Energy efficiency equals energy output divided by energy input all times 100%. This can be written as eta equals W sub out divided by W sub in all times 100. The Greek letter eta, the one that looks almost like an N, represents your energy efficiency. W represents the amount of work or energy in units of joules. It's multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage. Go ahead and use this formula to see just how well your light bulbs are doing their job. Your light bulbs are currently using 4,500 joules of energy every minute. And every, and every minute, minute they emit 99, 99 joules of light energy. energy. So, so we get 99 joules divided by 4,500 joules times 100%, which equals 2.2%. Wow, your light bulbs are using a lot of energy, but not producing much light. So where is the rest of the energy going? Remember, the law of conservation of energy says that energy is neither lost or created in any closed system, just changed. So, since only 2.2% of the electricity you're giving your light bulbs is turning into light, where is the other 97.8% of the electricity going? Have you ever touched a light bulb that's on? Burned your hand, didn't it? Yep, that energy turns into heat, lots of heat. In an ideal process, all of your energy input would turn into usable energy output and your efficiency would be at 100%, meaning all of your energy would get converted into output energy. So, so, an, an ideal, ideal light bulb would turn all of your electrical energy into light, and it, and it would remain cool to the touch. It wouldn't, it wouldn't turn any of the electrical energy into heat. Now, now you, can you can try calculating the energy efficiency of a particular, of a particular process. process. This time, the process is that of a bicyclist riding his bike. The bicyclist puts in 650 joules of work into pedaling his bike. The bike converts this energy into 150 joules of output energy that pushes the bike along. What is the energy efficiency of the bicyclist? To answer this question, you'll first need to locate your work input and your work output. Your work input is the amount of energy you put into the process. In this case, the 650 joules from the bicyclist. The work output is the energy the process gives out, the 150 joules of energy the bicycle puts out. Now, you can go ahead and plug these numbers into your equation. As you can see, it's 150 joules divided by 650 joules times 100%. The energy efficiency of the bicyclist is 23.1%. Again, most of the energy that's being put into the system is converted into something else. In this case, a lot of it is also heat. That's why you get warm when you work out. The definition for energy efficiency is how much energy is produced in a process versus the amount of energy given to the process. The formula is, as you recall, energy efficiency equals energy output divided by energy input all times 100%, which can be written as eta equals W sub out divided by W sub in all times 100. The Greek letter eta, which looks like an N, represents the efficiency as a percentage. Your work or energy input and output, W, are in joules. To use this formula, find your work output and work input amounts and plug it into the formula to evaluate. 